Hey, I'm Fight the Flat Earth. Welcome back to the channel that's got stupidity running scared. You can't hide. I'll find you. Recently, I reached 5,000 subscribers and thank you to every single one of you. Look out for the 5,000 subscriber special coming very soon. Today is episode three of Flurf Say What? The show where I keep telling the Flat Earthers how their viewing, commenting and downvoting is helping my channel, yet they keep doing it and they keep commenting stupid shit. Today, we're also gonna have a special look at one of my biggest fans. I'd even call him a Fight the Flat Earth super fan. Today, however, I'm a virgin liar, globe type of a Batman obsession. Stick around to find out why. We're living on a disc, floating through space with a tiny sun. <laughs> These shows are becoming the easiest things to write because I don't have to. The Flat Earthers are doing it for me. Even though I keep telling them not to comment, they keep doing it. And they keep even making videos about me, sending more and more people to my channel. So, um, thanks for that. <laughs> so what stupid shit are the Flurfs saying today? Well, this moron watched my last episode of Flurfs Are Idiots, where at the end I played a montage of rockets going into space. Every single rocket you just showed fly in a curved pattern, not straight up into space. They're flying out into the ocean. So the point of that segment was to show you that rockets don't go straight up. That's not how they get into space. Rockets have to curve like that to reach escape velocity. Whew, did you hear that whoosh? That was the sound of the joke going right over your head. I wonder if just for once a flurf is capable of leaving a nice message. The dude in this video is clearly a virgin. No, no capital at the start, but an exclamation mark at the end of the sentence. YouTube Eric Debay, 200 proof for hidden science. No, they just can't be nice, can they? And uh, Eric Debay's 200 proofs? That is cool. Rhetoric and discourse have got that covered. Check the link. Hmm, I wonder if I made an incredulous comment. Would I get on your show? No. The definition of a globe tard. As a globe tard, I solemnly swear to support the establishment and their satanic, pedo, child sacrificing, tranny, transhuman agenda in exchange for the promise that they will keep making sci fi space movies that I can escape into like a little boy. I endorse them killing and drinking the blood of innocent children in exchange for my belief and support of their globe image that has me under its spell. I'm so addicted to space fantasy that I barely notice that it's brought to me by the same people that rape, murder, and drink the blood of innocent children. In fact, I barely notice anything, and if you point it out to me, and I don't like the reality of the sickening fact, I would just call you a hater or a racist and continue being an effeminate zombie. Yay! <laughs> so proud. So I'm a vampire then. Cool. 52% of Britain are flat earthers. What's your problem? Space, space for some reason. Why are you so slow? No question mark. Yeah, so that's not a real statistic, but here's one. 100% of flat earthers are fucking idiots, ding. Does freedom of speech mean anything to you, liar? Or is it just those which you think have the right opinions that should have this privilege? That's not fair, dude. And you know, comma, for some reason, I'm right about this. Shame on you, sad face. No real flat earther, truth seeker has ever claimed that we live on a disc floating in space. What we're really claiming is that the surface of our world is relatively flat and that we're completely stationary. Outer space does not exist in our eyes, and the sun and the moon is much smaller and much closer than we have been told and are about the same size, which they also appear to be. And together with the stars and the planets, they circle above our heads, functioning as a clock and calendar. Now you know. And because you know this now, you'll have to change the intro to your videos if you want to avoid being called a deliberate liar in the future. So as the fair human being, which you consider yourself to be, you will, of course, do that ASAP, right? So your biggest problem is my intro. Really, that's your biggest problem with my channel is my intro in which I say that there's a disc floating through space. Well, I hate to burst your bubble, but again, there is flat earthers that think we're on a disc floating through space. In fact, if you click this link, you'll be able to go and watch a debate where I challenge a flurf who thinks we are on a disc floating through space. Next up is a conspiracy about Comic books, for some reason? Funny how you both buy into the Batman garbage, though. Sheesh. Shilling for the man. So, 
where did you get the idea that I like Batman? When have I ever shown that I like Batman? Fight the flat earth. It's pure propaganda. So I just want to make sure I get this straight. I'm not misunderstanding you here. Batman is propaganda. That, that, that is what you wrote, yeah? You, you, you do know you wrote that in a public forum that other people can see. Get a life, dude. Marvel is just comic book BS. Grow up. What the fuck did you just say? Flat Earth is one thing, but if you think you can call Batman Marvel... <sighs> Sorry, I'm okay. Anyway, it's time to take the trip for a mind of a man obsessed with me. So, let's have a look at my super fan, Mr. Cheswick. He, um, he loves me because when you look at his channel, it's, uh, it's kind of like an advert for, for me and, and, and Simon Dan, really. Um, I mean, he's even got my other YouTube channel in there. It's, it's fantastic. But, uh, what I wanted to show you today was the lovely new video that he's done about me entitled Flat Earth, Fight the Flat Earth, Money and the Military. If you're not aware, Mr. Cheswick thinks that there is a military conspiracy involving um, Flat Earth debunkers and YouTube uh, because, because there happens to be a few people that are ex-military who are also science-based channels that debunk nonsense. Myself, Jared from AT2 Productions, AT2 being a uh, military rank, Team Skeptic and more. This isn't a conspiracy, we're ex-military, so what? Um, we've found other people that are ex-military, but that's not the point. He thinks that there's a massive conspiracy behind it all. First off, in the video, he says that I turned off uh, the chat in my hangout with the stream where we did um, the debate between Professor Gaines and Mind of God, but I didn't because I was chatting to you all in the chat. Maybe he went there after YouTube was processing it and the, super, the, the chat doesn't display straight away. But anyway, this, that, this whole video is just him going through it and saying um, that there's military connections, etc., etc. You can have a look at the video yourself if you want. But we'll go and look at the, the, the comments that are on there, which are quite funny. For instance, um, his comment, Fight the Flat Earth, who by his own admission is ex-military has been receiving monetary donations through Super Chat on his Hangouts and is now having his live Hangouts moderated by a bunch of ex-military veterans from AT2 Productions, just as I predicted. So my question is, do people agree that there is a large military presence within Flat Earth? And if so, why do you think that is? No, Mr. Cheswick, there's not a large military presence. There just happens to be some ex-military people and a bunch of ex-military veterans from AT2? Does one person count as a bunch? I mean, I know you guys have issues with maths, but one isn't a bunch, you, you moron. Um, look at all these too many coincidences here for my liking. Good work as usual, mate. Tricky Dicky, they remove posts when this military, ex-military propaganda connection is questioned. This is interesting. Keep digging, Mr. Cheswick. Thanks. Um, doesn't that little weirdo Craig knob ever change his clothes? Creepy little freak. Well, um, I record a bunch of videos at a time, so um, if you don't like my clothes, I don't really give a fuck. All right, but uh, I commented on there. Um, of course, there is Mind of God with his uh, going on about deception, but he blocks my FTFE account, so I had to go on there with my other YouTube account married to Xbox. Um, I said, as you seem to have my FTFE account banned from commenting, I'll use this. The live chat is there and was never turned off. After a live stream, YouTube takes a few hours to process the video before the chat replay is available. Do you ever do research? Um, no, they don't, Craig. The chat is instantly available. So <laughs> there you go. He doesn't do research because anyone that does live streams knows that once you finish doing your live stream, there's a little pro um, period of time where YouTube is processing the video and the chat replay isn't available whilst they do that. If you go to the video, which you could have done and would account in his research you could quite clearly see that the live replay is there intact you can go and read it all whilst it's playing you moron plus you're not banned from my channel craig well i, I am because i left a whole bunch of comments on here of ftfe and they're not here so um uh then he goes on to say 
you're, you're not telling the truth. Well, I point out that there's two things that you got wrong. I am banned um, and the live stream of you know, chat being there. And then Heath replies, you're not telling the truth, are you, Craig? How come at the start of the video on the page, it clearly says your last video, blah, blah, blah. And I did. You know, he, dude, actually read what I'm telling you. There isn't going to be live, re live replay of the chat available straight away. So he keeps going on. Um, I asked him to pin the comment and uh, he's like, no, it's all right. I'll, I'll leave it here so anyone viewing this can see what ex-military personnel because the uh, the pinned comment is a list of apparent or you know, probably are military, ex-military personnel. I don't really know. Um, right. So then he goes on. Uh, I say, Mr. Chizik, that's what I thought. Jealousy is a horrible thing. And he says, Craig, you're an idiot, mate. The chat being disabled has been documented at the start of this video. People know what's going on, kiddo. We ain't as thick as you like to make out. No, maybe you're thicker, actually. And anyway, if I'm helping your channel grow, what's the big deal? You should be happy. Well, Mr. Cheswick, what you don't realize is that I've been playing you like a fiddle for weeks. I know how to make you put up a video. And I was in this comment section for a few hours today making you comment this shit so that I could then record this video and show people what a moron you are. You are under my thumb. So yeah, to be honest, my old mate, you look kind of nervous and unsure. No, I don't think I do. Um, oh, by the way, I have to say I was touched at the tears you shed on camera and you were receiving all your monetary donations off the AT2 military team. I almost took pity on you. When I did the sub, uh, the chat talking to my subs, I did get a bit emotional because I was talking about my personal life. Um, but I can guarantee you, there is not an AT2 military team that are paying me money. <laughs> um, Craig, you're missing the point, dear boy. I'm not saying you guys are part of any conspiracy. I have zero evidence of that. Let's get this straight. All I'm saying is that there's a hell of a lot of military connections within Flat Earth debunking on YouTube and that you personally are in receipt of donations from these ex-veterans through Super Chat. You are saying that there's a conspiracy. You quite clearly said it in the description of this video. I'm not out here to destroy you, Craig, on a personal level. What you do is your business. That's not my concern. And um, he's going on about the fact that um, I'm getting money and stuff on YouTube whilst I'm receiving benefits from the government. Well, to be honest, guys, I am receiving money from YouTube now. Well, it's in the YouTube account and it's getting to the point where I will be able to claim it and it will be my money. And today I spent time registering myself as self-employed because of your support of me and my channel. I can actually take myself off of benefits and support my family on my own. I think that's a good thing, but not according to this guy, because I'm not allowed to make money, but he also says I'm not allowed to be on benefits because that's scrounging off the government. Hey, what am I going to do? Uh, right, yeah, so he carries on. Um, there's a bunch of other people there, but I don't really care. I just want to show you how stupid uh, Mr. Cheswick is being. Um, so I pointed out that um, I've been, like, I want to go self-employed, and he's like, you think you can make a living, blah, blah, blah. How, then he starts going on about going on to Dragon's Den and saying, I'm oot. Well, I don't know. If someone's successful, then people probably back, uh, back it and I'm being successful. I mean, you guys can go and read that there's so much crazy here. Right, yeah, so here's the comment um, where he says, well, let me tell you this, my old internet sparring partner. The moment you go legit and sign off, I'm going to shut down my channel and delete all my videos. So you'll be earning fuck all of them off of me. Just out of interest, what would you do if, say, once your channel gained a bit of momentum and a load of people decided to file copyright claims against you? How would that affect the future of your business, do you think? Well, first of all, I've already downloaded all your videos and everyone knows what an idiot you are, so I can make money off of you whenever I want. So that's a win for me. However, if you shut down your channel, then that's one less flurf on the internet and I win again. Or you keep your channel up and there's still videos about me you keep promoting me, so I win. And in regards to the copyright, I would advise you to look at what's happened with Team Skeptic and when someone files a false DMCA. I fucking dare you. So yeah, that's some crazy shit, huh? Before we go, my good friend Schrodinger's cat has made a video that's going to make Flurfs very angry if you just click on that link above there. That's all for today. Come back on Sunday where I will have episode 8 of Flurfs Are Idiots where I look at Jaronism. Um, I have reached 5,000 subscribers and... 
I can't thank you enough and an extra, extra massive thanks to all my patrons. Their names are on screen now. And remember guys, stupidity is not a right. Fight the flat earth. We're living on a disc floating through space with a tiny sun. Fight the flat earth.